Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to make quick fur. Uh, something like on this lines. Uh, and go through some of the more common settings that you could probably end up changing. Sweet, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is what the scene is going to look like, a little bit like what we're, when we're done. Uh, yeah, nothing too complicated. So go ahead and click a new general and I'm just going to use um, UV sphere to do this. I, you can use whatever object you like and then it really is easy as it's as easy as going to object quick effects quick fur. Now you can see that it doesn't really look like anything and if we uh, if we put the space bar and play it nothing actually happens. Uh, generally when you do fur or not generally sometimes when you do fur you want to like have physics uh, you want it to be dynamic, and we're also going to show that as well in just a second. So let's go to the physics or the particle tab. Uh, these are all particles. So this is a particle system that has been added. And when we did the quick fur, it just tweaks some of the settings. And this is a good place to honestly start. You don't have to worry about too many things you have to change. And so I think this is one of the easiest and best bets if you're just trying to get like a something going and something quick and easy and looks good. Uh, I'm going to actually decrease this number a little bit. Oops, not to 80 though. Uh, I meant to 800. Just decrease it a little bit. That's mainly to save on performance on your computer. Uh, the more you have of these, the, the better it will look or, uh, I don't know, I guess not necessarily the better it will look. It. It's for different effects. It's just more of these. That is the number of particles, the number, the number of hair that is on your object. Um, uh, the reason why I also decreased it is we're going to be changing something a little bit later that will affect, that this will affect as well. Um, so you can also increase this depending on how long you want your hair. Uh, oops. And let's go down here to hair dynamics. This is one of the things that you'll probably want um, to have. And the quality steps, uh, obviously the higher the better, just like most settings. <laughs> Um, that have quality in them, but that also you're sacrificing time for that. So uh, just kind of you can leave that alone. But the structure and volume tabs are stuff that you may want to look at. More so, probably the structure. So if we just hit play by hitting the space bar on our keyboard, uh, it actually does fairly well right now. Um, our hair acts like hair, and you could leave it. Uh, these settings right here in structure will give you some more effects or different effects of this fur. So if you want it to be heavier, you can just increase that. If you want it to be more stiff, um, then you can decrease or increase that. I'm just going to turn up the random because hair is random. Oops. I accidentally just hit the render button. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let's now if we go back and play this nothing changed and you can see down here this red it means nothing has changed it's like baking it over and over again so let's go back into our cache here or not back but go into our cache and click free all bakes and we still don't have anything uh, that's honestly what I thought would be the first one to be the easy um, but you can you can do this this is how I figured it out earlier so if you I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of small, but this red bar as you slowly go back, like if I were to click over here, you can get it to erase. And then you can play it. And this is more of like what would actually happen. And maybe we increase the random maybe a little bit too much. Uh, let's go back. Okay, the random I think is looking good. Maybe we just want this a little bit more stiff though. Oh yeah, I think that's about right. So now we're getting some random uh, fur in there. And that's mainly the big settings. Uh, this next one is one of the coolest ones I think though, because this can give you some really interesting like fur. Like this is more like hair, uh, kind of. This is just basic hair. But often like when you have hair, it comes in clumps, um, especially like 
if you have like an, a shaggy guy or, or that's got like a beard or something you can play with some of its children now the reason why I lowered that to 800 is each one of those particles can have a child of how many a hundred so or we have a display amount here at 10 um, I think my computer can handle it so I'm going to show you what it would look like this is how it does look like if it were to be the render amount. Uh, this is just to save your computer, so it's like 10% of that. Um, so you can always increase that, just remember your computer may not handle it. And then your render amount is just what it will render. It will put those in as it renders. Uh, so this is kind of good to note because we can see here all these particles and we thought it was at 800. It's not. It's at 800 times 10, or really 800 times 100 particles. So it's a lot of particles that should be, uh, let's see, 8,000 particles. Um, yeah, so that's kind of interesting. You can decrease the length of your children, of each one of those particles. Uh, this is one of the cool things. And right here you have the parting, clumping. I really like to play with the clumping. And if you hit clump, you can see, it's kind of hard to see right here. Let me see if, I'll just turn this all the way up just to exaggerate it and turn down this to 200. Oops. Oh, I forgot we got to rebake it now. So now you can see how it clumps it together um, like that. And I'm also going to come down here and increase the render amount to 200. And I'm going to increase this to about 100 just so I can get a little bit better picture of what's happening. Yeah, so it's actually not too bad. Even, even though I'm only using 200 um, base particle numbers, um, I have plenty of hair on there that makes it look like real hair. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial that I wanted to share. There's a lot more settings. You can check into all of them. Um, I would say that the ones that I've talked about are probably like the most common, um, but definitely play with as many as you feel like it. Um, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it interesting and informative. Uh, check out some more videos. and I Thank you. Bye.